Okay, guys. Uh, somebody left me a comment. He wanted, uh, first of all, welcome back. And uh, Wasim, I'm making this video for you. You left a comment stating that you wanted some counterattacks on against a front kick. Okay, so we have a video that is already there it's on a counterattack with the front kick, which is with the down block reverse punch. I'm going to post another video today, which shoot another video, and this will be how to use a side kick against front kick. And this is in an op I'll make a series of videos. Okay, I'll throw some on some with against the front kick, against roundhouse kicks, things of that sort. I'm planning to do all these counterattacks next. Uh, once I'm finished off, we're showing some more techniques and then we'll get into counterattacks. But since you asked me a question and I promise that I will make you guys a video on whatever you guys ask me for, hence I am making this video on how to do counterattacks against a front kick, okay? So there are many, many, many counterattacks against a front kick, but I'm going to show you how you use your basic techniques against a front kick. This time we'll talk about using a side kick against a front kick. On in, okay. So take a fighting stance, Austin. So remember, guys, this is a closed fighting stance, all right? So when we're both standing over here, this is a closed fighting stance because we have our, both of us have our left legs in front. Switch your leg again, Austin. This again is a closed fighting stance because we have our right leg in front. Okay, he has his right leg, I have his right leg. Our bodies basically are close to a lot of attacks. Uh, because remember, the points that you get in Taekwondo, the points are being taken over here. So, come on in here a little bit. And so the point system in Taekwondo, you get very little points on the back, remember that, unless it's the head or somewhere in this region or whatever. But most of the chubbiest, juiciest points are all here, right? And therefore, the close fighting stance kind of closes off a lot of those techniques, okay? So, now, switch your leg again, Austin. Now, this is an open fighting stance, where I have my right leg in front, and he has his left leg in front. Now, we're both open to each other's attacks. A lot of these juicy targets, as I call them, uh, we're open to that, okay? So, if Austin, if I'm standing fighting over here, and Austin actually chooses to throw a front kick to me, from a, in an open fighting stance, this technique is gonna work against that. And here I'm gonna use a side kick because I'm already standing in a, in a fighting stance. We're standing here, we're standing over here in a fighting stance, right? So we're gonna do this really slow so you understand the mechanics of this technique, okay? This is a little complicated. Okay, so Austin shoots his front kick into me, trying to make contact in my midsection area. This could also be an axe kick. This could also be an outside or inside horseshoe kick. This could also be a side, uh, sorry, a roundhouse kick, okay? But right now, we're working against a front kick. So Austin wants to slam my ribs or my midsection with this kick. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is, as he comes in, I avoid this kick here, nullifying Austin's attack, okay? by a very small movement. <coughs> I'm not gonna take a big movement because if I make a big movement, I might lose my technique and I don't wanna lose my technique, okay? So the very first thing is from here, I move in and as I move in, I chamber my leg for my sidekick. And what did Austin do? He just walks into my sidekick, okay? He just walks into it. You guys clear with that? You guys understand that, yeah? And that's what I've been, we've been trying to work on, right? So, uh, again, from here, Austin throws a kick, boom. And he eats a side kick, okay? So right from there, we're standing over here. <laughs> what are you laughing at? So right now, we're standing over here in fighting stance. Austin throws a front kick, boom. And he eats a side kick right in the body, okay? So avoid. Make that little gap, fire your technique. Let's see it from this side. Okay, same technique. Come here, Austin. Okay, same technique, okay? So watch my feet. Okay, so here we see the technique. So right from here, we're standing over here, and Austin throws a front kick, and I'm not gonna move like this. I'm gonna move like this, okay? I'm gonna skip my foot. From here, as I skip my foot, I chamber my leg in. So come on, Austin. Boom. 
and the side kick comes in. So I'm standing here, I see Austin move for front kick, boom. And then Austin eats a side kick, okay? So I'm standing over here, I see Austin throw the front kick to me, and boom, see if I'm late, I got bad timing, or if I don't move to the side, he's gonna get me like that, okay? One more time, and if I, come on in, if I try to go in straight, his kick's gonna get me. I mean, even if it nullifies, I'm still here. Kick's not doing anything, okay? And that's why it's important for me, as I'm standing here, the kick comes in, I move here. I move to the side, move away. Okay, fire your kick, boom. And then the side kick comes in. I'm going really slow with this one, because I don't want to go fast, because, so that you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? So, and then the side kick comes in. Well, hopefully, you got this technique, work on it guys, it takes a lot of work, okay? Just because I'm showing it to you and we're doing it easily, doesn't mean you're gonna get it easily. You gotta put in a lot of time, a lot of effort, you gotta put in practice, you gotta take a partner, practice with your partner, work together, develop the timing, develop that body sense, develop how the body moves and when you should be moving with the body. These are important things, okay? That's what they call, even in judo, mat time, right? So the more time you spend on the mat, in dojang, in training, learn the body, learn the human body, learn how the body moves, you'll be able to get away with stuff. Just because you sit in a book or you sit in a video in your YouTube with somebody's doing it, and you say, oh wow, I can do it, you really can't, okay? Even this, this is not for somebody who's a beginner, this is for somebody who's already training in the martial arts. And then, use this as a reference, use what I'm teaching, work it, work your timing, work your skills, sharpen your knife, sharpen your sword, okay? Sharpen it. The more you do, the better you'll get, okay? Again, if you like the video, Please put likes on it, share it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And share the video and get this algorithms up off our channel. And thank you everybody. We've crossed the 10,000 membership mark on subscription. We need to make it 20, okay? And I count upon you guys to do it. Help me out, help yourselves, help your friends, help Taekwondo, okay? And we'll meet again with something again something new, something more exciting. Uh, again, like I said, if you liked it, if, you, if there are any comments, concerns, questions, please throw it out there in the comment section. And like Wasim, I made this video for you. I will make videos for the others as well. So thank you again.